kumpatia mtu yeye yeah, then mtoto akatoka kaita mimi yake mm-hmm. si tunaishi fourth floor ya yeah, naishi third floor yeah. and uh, wakati nateremka third floor namwambia twendeni mm-hmm. mimi baada ya kuona mtoto akikuja nimeona mtoto akienda ah, alianguka yeah. kutoka third floor mpaka chuo I believe you've been well. Thank you for always supporting us and we don't take it for granted. I pray that God will bless you. Today we have a wonderful person in studio. She's been an amazing minister. I know her personally. <laughs> so, usiende mal. Stay tuned and don't go nowhere. Mwana wangu wewe si kama mwanadamu. Yesu anitosha. Asante sana na shukuru. We are glad to have you here. Kwa vizuri. Asante. Ah, kwani mlikuwa wapi? Kulea. Ah, kama kulea mtu anakaa vizuri hivi, hata mimi nataka. Eh, jitambulishe kwa watazamaji wetu. Okay. Um, kwa majina naitwa Veronica Pius. Although nilijiita hiyo wakati siku na mme. <laughs> But kwa sasa naitwa Mrs. Edward. Mm ama mama Olive ama mm. mama Pendo yeah. ama wife to one husband and I thank God a husband who is a male <laughs> with a male <laughs> <Who is amen. laughs> yeah ah karibu sana asante wewe ni mzaliwa wa wapi ah uh, hmm, mimi nimezaliwa mahali panaitwa Idanga mm. Idanga iko Muranga county although ah. tumechanganyika <laughs> unapata part moja iko machako zingine iko Muranga county yes. but sisi tumelelewa Muranga county Muranga eh mm-hmm. kauku. 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 <laughs> kauku. <laughs> whichever you so call it ni wa, wa kabila gani wa huko tumechanganyika kikuyu mm-hmm. wakamba mm-hmm. and uh, nimeona watu wengi pia wameanza kununua mashamba huko makabila makabila oh. and maisha ilikuwa aje pale wewe ni mzaliwa wa ngapi kwa familia yetu Okay, mimi kwetu mimi ndio wa kwanza. Oh, you are the first. <laughs> yes, I'm the first born. Mm. Na tumezaliwa tukiwa wanne. Wanne. Wasichana watatu mm. na kijana mmoja. Oh. Yeah. Maisha ilikuwa aje pale nyumbani. <laughs> um, siwezi nikasema maisha ilikuwa mzuri vile. Mm. Na siwezi sema ilikuwa mbaya. Mm. But kwa yote Mungu amekuwa mwaminifu. Eh. Mm. Because at least our parents tried to raise us mm. pale waliwezeshwa na Mungu. Eh and this what tunashukuru. Uliweza kusoma pale Muranga mpaka ukamaliza shule ama uli Aha, nilisoma shule ya uh, uh, primary nilisoma Idanga primary mm. and baada ya hapo nikaenda ukambani sasa. Ukaenda ukambani. Huko ndio nilijua kikamba vizuri. <laughs> <laughs> nikaenda ukambani shule inaitwa Ndivini High School. Eh. Kutoka hapo nikakuja dika technical. Mm. Nikasoma kidogo. Mm. <laughs> Alafu changamoto za hapa na pale. Eh. Sijui kulienda aje. Sikatiki kuna soma nini. 
Na okay, kulikuwa nasoma customer relation, mm. kuna course ilikuwa imeanza huo wakati mm. customer relation. Mm. And um, I think nilisoma like five months up alafu. Ukaacha. Na nikaacha. Although okay. nilikuja kumaliza nikafanya kama mtihani kidogo nikapata at least certificate. certificate. Yeah. Ah, na sasa kwa hii safari ya maisha mm. ulikuja ukaanza lini uimbaji ama huduma za huyo? Okay, um first mimi nimeriziwa kwa church. Mm mamangu ametolea kwa njia za kiungu mm-hmm. she is a very tough woman uh-huh. takangi mchezo wakati tunaingia ni kwa business za god mm-hmm. and i remember when i was in class 3 mm-hmm. nilianza kuimba church mm-hmm. nilikuwa napenda ile chorus inaimbwa ingia ingia yeah. i used to sing that chorus sana we moja wa kondo <laughs> mm-hmm. and um, nikaendelea tu hivyo mm-hmm. nikiwa class 6 mm-hmm. our church ambao ile wakati nilikuwa naenda ABC mm. wakaanza ku host crusade mm. za hapa na pale yeah. so that time nikaanza hata kuimba kwa crusade kabla Whoa. crusade ianze how old were you i was in class 6 i mm. think i was i was like 12 12 years hey, i think i was 12 confidence was a person nikaanza kuimba imba kwa crusade mm. and then in that class 6 mm. nika nika shift church ah. one of my uncle was a pastor mm. and then akaniambia hapo unakaa Mm. au taendelea eh. shift huko mm. kuja hapa ni kule <laughs> so i uh, nikaenda church ya jangwa alikuwa na hudumu mm. then i started kuimba tu pole pole mm. present worship wa kipractice am there mm. and i remember one sunday mm. present worship wakasema niimbe na wao hey. wakati tuliimba mm. the bishop of that church yeah. wakati akuwa ananijua mm. kasema i want that chimbaloza i remember very well he's late mm. alikuwa anaitwa bishop kangede hey. I want that chimbaloza aendelee yeah. kukua kwa hiyo timu kuanzia leo. Whoa. And that's how he blessed me nikaanza kuimba tu kwa church. Yes. <laughs> nikaanza kuimba kwa church. Mm. Nikaendelea tu hivyo, nikamaliza shule. Mm. Ukiwa tu kwa present worship. Nikaanza tu kwa present worship. Mm. Nika, nika, nikamaliza shule bado nikiwa kwa present worship, nikaenda high school. Yes. High school uh, nikaendelea tu kuimba bado mm. kwa kwa inaitwa hiyo hiyo ya Christians <laughs> Christian you. Union yeah. I think mm. nikaendelea kuimba wakanichagua kama one of the leaders in yes. the in the <coughs> in the CU mm. and then nikaendelea tu kuimba praise and worship I didn't know mm. nitakuja kuimba yeah. one of the teacher alikuwa anaitwa Mr Mbidi was our patron wa CU yes. ni akaniambia you girl you can you can sing mm. just like well niambia nini <laughs> <laughs> and then kwa high school mm. Nikuwa napenda nyimbo za chimba loza. Au mm. wakati ndio ali pass nikiwa high school. Oh, ali pass nikiwa form 4. Which among her songs do you love most? Mbali tumetoka na mahali nimefika. Ndio maana ninatambua kwamba wewe ni yembeneza. I loved that song. I used to sing that song and I remember mm. nilipewa news mm. by one of our teachers. Mm kanambia chimbaloza wako <laughs> ame pass ndiko oh. anaitwa Mr Kioko mm. though Mr Kioko was a bit rude eh? yeah. akuwa anapenda Christianity sana oh, so but he came purposely kuniambia chimbaloza yuko mm. and i saw him feeling vile juu nilitoa machozi oh. and then nika give up i remember oh. that time i had nilikuwa nimeanza kuandika nyimbo mm. nilikuwa namfuata na andika song mm. namfuata na andika song nikamfuatilia tu hivyo na andika song. Mm. Nilikuwa na song 29 by then. Eh? Nilikuwa na kitabu ya hesabu nilikuwa nimeandika song 29. 29 1 yes. 29. Mpaka 29. Full song, chorus. Full song, wimbo, chorus hivyo. Then wakati alikufa mm. nika give up. What did you do with the 29 song? Hiyo kitabu nilienda nikarusha nikasema kama uimbaji wanakufanga, yeah. then me I don't want to die. Lord. Nikaenda nikatupa kitabu yangu. I remember nilikatatisha mara mbili nikatupa. Jesus. Yes. Nikatupa kitabu na nikakaa. Ni, ni kwanza ukapata si usitaki kuimba, mm. I'm just there. Mm. Kwa nini waimbaji wanakufa? Mm. So I think ni utoto tu nilisumbua. <laughs> Now I know where my God is. And then um, nikaanza kufuata Sarake. Mm. After Chimbaloza amekufa. So yeah. nasikiza nyimbo za Chimbaloza mm. and now I need someone who is alive. Eh? Yes. Nimsikize. Eh, Yule sasa amekufa. <laughs> So nikaanza kusikiliza nyimbo za Sarakei. Mm. Nikaanza ku connect na huyo mama mm. simjui. Mm. But anytime I was sing her song, mm. inaanza kusikia oh, I'm a singer, I yeah. can sing. Mm. Then watu wakaanza kuniambia, you have a every, every voice like mm. Sarakei. Eh. 
Mm. Nikaendelea tu hivyo so ndio nikaanza kuandika wimbo wengine. Mm. I remember nikaandika song moja mm. ambayo tu bado iko hapa. Zongania. Umenipa ushuhuda mm. part moja. One mm. of the part niliandika huo wakati. Mm. Na nikaachana na wimbo. Oh. Nika nikaachana na mambo ya mziki mm. after kuandika hiyo part moja. <laughs> Lena uh, nikamaliza high school mm. kaenda college mm. nikatulia hapo miezi mm. hiyo sita mm. siku anase mm. then uh, i came to nairobi mm. i remember after from four i came to nairobi yes. then after coming to nairobi i joined one church hapa kawa ndani mm. <laughs> um hawakuwa na amini they didn't believe in me eh? yes. but one guy alikuwa anaitwa Emmanuel and uh, one woman of god anaitwa Ann Maigua mm they had faith in me yes. sana mm. so they were pushing me we imba we imba. imba just like ah watu wananiambia nini mm. so nikamwambia allow me to join prison worship mm. ni waskize mm. so mimi nika join prison worship yeah. they start training unasikia watu vile wanaimba wakiweka vitu zingine hapo what drips and all that <laughs> what are these what are those so mm. nikaendelea tu kuvumilia mm. and then nikakuwa chat natoka mbali na kuja kawa ndani so i shifted church oh. nilikuwa naishi by then nilikuwa naishi madhare mm. nilikuwa mimi mkaji wa madhare sana for over 10 years madhare yes kwa salamu hapo okay. so nikahamia church huruma mm. and then after kwenda huruma mm. nikapata this bishop Jericho pastor Bundu mm. by now is a, is a bishop mm. now that man ndo ameni mentor because oh, i remember yeah. wakati we joined church yake walinifanisha interview wanafanyanga mtu interview ya kuingia present worship oh. then i remember niliimba one song nilikuwa inaimba mu over me spirit mu over me yeah, i sang that song mm. man the coming sunday akanifanya kuja kwa madhabao eh. And I was like, oh okay. Akanza comment. Mm. And then two was 2017. Yes. Nilikuwa bado under him. Mm. Akaniambia nataka nipate CD yako na one of one of my friend that I was. Yeah. Next year I want your CDs. You guys can sing. Mm. Hai nikamwambia dada pana. Mimi sioni. <laughs> Akaniambia you can sing and then he prayed for us. Yes. Yeah then upon your journey ya mziki kaanza nilikuwa nikiimba kwa madhabahu song inakuja mm. nikiimba kwa madhabahu song inakuja mm. and then this guy mm. was so wise mm. akisikia nikiimba new song ana ni record na simu yake simu uh-huh. yake so that's how i started so who was your first producer wa audio okay um my first producer by bado ndio producer <laughs> wangu <laughs> anaitwa unamtanga kaka Jose mm. but they uh, studio yake inaitwa JMVs mm. iko moja yeah yes huyo ndio producer wangu how was it <laughs> um it was not easy mm. because i remember the day i went to studio mm. nilienda studio and i had no fear mm. na kunipeleka hapo studio <laughs> kama una fear kupeleka studio utalipa sina nilichukua tu ya imani <laughs> because sasa songs zinakuja yeah. and i have to go yeah. nisikie watu wanasikianga aje wakivaa hizi vitu <laughs> so i remember hiyo time nilienda mm. nikatembea hadi raunda yeah. but i felt i see zifika umoja mm. nikarudi kwa nyumba na nikirudi kwa nyumba nikapitia church mm. nikaimbisha kwanza la njawa vibaya sana nikamaliza nikarudi kwa nyumba mm. nenda ngambia mungu aki mungu shida simakuwa mingi <laughs> Mm-hmm. And the god she day we come in the following day that brother of mine Evans akakuwa kumbe yeye ame record na janiambia mm-hmm. akaniambia we go nifanye backup mm-hmm. akaniambia sawa sasa tukaingia kwa gari nikamwambia na ujue si na fair mm-hmm. <laughs> akanilipia nikaenda nikamfanya backup mm-hmm. simwambii plan yangu na simwambii jana nimefika roundani uh-huh. kale noa nikarudi uh-huh. nikamfanya backup sauti zote uh-huh. i do backup nikamfanya uh-huh. backup sauti zote uh-huh. songs zote zake uh-huh tukarudi home tukarudi nikamwambia Kevans niko njaa <laughs> I remember alinibaia kajuis kwa barabara <laughs> nikakuja nikifunywa kwa barabara so nikajua oh kumbe studio ni tamu hivi mm. producer number one, the mm. same same producer ni huyo huyo mm. tu akanipenda uh. the wife akanipenda nice so mimi sikwambia anything nikajua nyinyi mshanipenda mm. god ameshaanza ku work god ameanza ku work so nikarudi home mm. nikamwambia Evans umefanya kazi safi mm. so akani challenge yeah 
akasema nao tomorrow naamka huko hiyo kesho yake nikaamka kama niko na homa nikashindwa kuenda and then it was on a friday nikaamua let me go yeah then nikaamka asubuhi sina fear so nikaamua niamke mapema i had i had 25 bob with me so nikajua kulipa 10 bob back around tena ni work kutoka around mpaka umoja ni mbali acha ni work acha ni work nifike around niende kama ndona gari nilipe nifikishe umoja So I paid that 20 bob of mine after kufika raunda nikalipa mbao nikafikisha umoja bila nifika umoja kutoka mahali nishukishwa stage bado una walk ni mbali kidogo nika walk nikafika ku studio then nilifika kama mtu akona pesa then bila nilifika nikasalimia huyo producer akamwambia nimekucha akaniambia ah umekuja umekuja kuimba na sijui mtu anaanzanga wapi So the first thing aliniambia umesikia Mungu nikamwambia nimesikia God akaniambia ndio kitu ya maana kusikia Mungu. Eh. And now mm. kuna itajikanga hii pesa eh. nikamwambia okay kamwambia <laughs> mimi nimekuja lakini mm. niko na shilingi 5. Ngai wazi. I remember he called <laughs> he called his wife. Akaita bibi yake mali wako na studio. Eh. Baba mama yao iko tu mahali akaita bibi yake akamwambia come we pray for this girl <laughs> nimesikia roho mtakatifu amesema tumuombe mm. wakanishika mikono we prayed mm. roho mtakatifu akashuka vizuri sana in the studio mm. then akaniambia vai hizo vitu okay. sing one song ukasing okay, nikaimba wimba moja never that mm. that that kamba song yeah. nikaimba never and then after kuimba that part akaniambia lazima utatoa nyimbo mm. nikamuliza how mm and we just go home mm. lakini tutaanza project yako next mm. week eh hey. hey, kwa going home oh. kwa yeah. going home si mwambi si na fair mm. the best thing is that the wife gave me food nilikula <laughs> kwao so si na nja nimepata energy ya kunifikisha huruma so i walked back to huruma nikapita church then nikaenda na hapo nyuma nikapiga makuti nikaomba lunch hour iko imefika mm. i prayed and then tukaenda tukaanza lunch hour after lunch hour nikaenda nikakaa mahali pastor alikuwa amekaa nikakaa next mm. kumbia dad nimeenda studio mm. na sasa nataka kuimba kanambia chukua kitabu mm. write down your friends yes. wale watu unajua ni marafiki zako mm. we are not doing fundraising ah. lakini andika marafiki zako mm. alafu watumie message Ah kaniambia mpaka message yenye ndaandika. Ndio unataka kutoa wimbo, you need their support. Mwenye atakupea 100, mwenye atakupea 200. Nikamwambia, mm. "Oh, na producer amesema tu tutaimba." Akaniambia, "Amechukua imani kwa sababu God ametaka na wewe pia usaidike in one way or the other. And I'm now helping you." Yes. Andikia marafiki zako. Nilianza kutumia watu message. "Sawa, we will support you." I didn't know what <laughs> wanapenda kuni support. Mm. And then within one week I raised 86,000. Yes. 86. 86,000 because I remember yes, niliandikia ni watu niliandikia watu message hiyo hiyo Friday and then pastor kaniambia the coming week mm. tutafanya something hapa kwa church. Yes. Na hao marafiki yako si fundraising yes. hata yes. kutangaza kwa church. Mm-hmm. So the friends came mm-hmm. we were like we were less 20 wow. when you alikuja. And then we raised 86,000. 86. Yes. 86,000. Hey. <laughs> Abeba pesa yangu kaenda ni hata mm-hmm. Mungu alitumia different people yes. from the friends wale ulikuwa na actually wale nilikuwa na expect watu wanazaniambia wewe tutakusimamia nyimbo moja nyimbo mbili mm-hmm. they didn't come through mm-hmm. but those guys when you see who expect Ndiyo are the ones come. who came through mm-hmm. so um nikabepa pesa yangu mm-hmm. kaenda nikatoa tithe na nikatoa thanksgiving offering mm-hmm. then nikaenda na pesa kwa nyumba hey. <laughs> nikaenda nikahesabu 1 2 3 wazikuwa nimeambiwa wimbo moja nitafanywa na 8000. Mm. Sasa akarudi akanipigia ya. Yeah. Akaniambia now um I'll do it na 6000. Wow. Ndio nilipigia nimepata pesa mm. na kuja kesho. Eh. Akaniambia okay but sasa nimeteremsha Roho Mtakatifu ameniambia niteremshe nifike 6. Wow. So hapo ndio akateremka mm. nikamwambia I'll come tomorrow mm. or Tuesday. Yeah. So on Monday nikaamka nikamwacha niombe kwanza mm. and then in the studio Tuesday. Mm nikaenda studio Tuesday nikaimba wimbo moja nikaimba ya pili nikamwambia nyimbo ziko akaniambia tuna haraka tukao tunafanya moja wao una relax alafu una 
So uh, tukaanza jani yetu. Mm-hmm. I thank God because I paid everything in cash. Ato pesa tonye tukua tumebaki. At least nikakuwa na account kwa na kitu. Nitaeka hapo nikasema zingoje video. <laughs> But it was not easy. Because after nimetoka studio that day, nimeimba wembo moja, hiyo mm-hmm. neneva. Um, nikakuja home. Mm-hmm. The following day on Wednesday, it was my daughter's birthday. Yeah. And um, they can prepare. Ndiyo nikuwa nimekapeleka shule, kaji kuongea vizuri. Mm-hmm. Um, na mimi niko na mali kwa nimepata kibarua naenda once while once yeah. while yeah. nika prepare mtu yeah, and then mtoto akatoka kaita mwenzake mm-hmm. si tunaishi fourth floor ya naishi third floor yeah anambia mam nimeenda kuita fulani tuende shule kambia yeah. okay mm-hmm. akaenda kuitana then aingia ngi kwa wenyewe mm-hmm. she was that displayed squeeze sijua anaenda <laughs> kwa nini akasimama kwa balcony yes yeah. sama hali alisimama mm-hmm. chuma ilikuwa ime mtu amehama amepitishia viti kwa chuma uh, ame break one of the chuma jesus so na akachukua kawekelea oh, so my daughter amesimama ameshika the same same chuma oh no and uh, wakati na teremka third floor nimwambie twendeni mimi mm. baada ya kuona mshtaka kuja nimeona mshtaka akienda jehova adonai ah yes niona mshtaka akienda alianguka kutoka third floor mpaka chini jesus christ mimi vile nilifika nikachukua mtu hii nikakimbiza hospitali i don't know i can't even explain mm. but um, i thank god mm. yes nilitumia utoto pesa nilikuwa <laughs> nimejisevia tu tu kushoot video yeah, yeah. but i thank god because after nimepeleka mtoto hapo hospitali mm. wakamchukua walimshughulikia daktari mm. wakasema huyu atuwezani because hakuna mtoto anguka anafaulu uh-uh. So they gave me ambulance and daktaris mm. sisi hao mama Lucy kufika mama Lucy madaktari wako slow yeah. gari ikapigwa moto Kenyata mm. and then mimi nilibaki kwa ambulance <laughs> nikabaki hapo wakaingia mm. wakapeana mtoto mm. treatment alikuwa amevein alikuwa anatoka yeah. maji kwa masikio mapua na mdomo mm. kichwa ilikuwa imefura imefika huko So I didn't call anyone. Mm-hmm. Ata sijui simu yangu iko na nani. Juu vitu zenye nilikuwa nazo niliacha. Mm-hmm. Niliangusha nikaacha. I didn't call even my parents just after you've started. Yes, nimeanza nimeingia oh, studio je. jana. Mm-hmm. Nikaimba one song. Mm-hmm. Now kesho mtoto ameanguka. And uh, I didn't call anyone. Hey. Nilibaki kwa billers. Now I started singing waweza. Mm-hmm. Now my song waweza. Okay. That song came mm-hmm. ikiwa hapo. Kwa billers. Now I sang that song and then I started speaking in tongues. I'm not crying. Mm-hmm. I'm not tensed. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm singing that song. I'm feeling the power of the Holy Spirit. Kwa bilans. Kwa bilans. Mm-hmm. hapo nimeacha hapo ndani madaktari anambia toka. I'm not speaking to anyone. Mm-hmm. And now I'm singing that song. It, it came through and I started singing that song. Mm-hmm. Nikaanza tu kuimba. Mm-hmm. Kaimba that song and then the doctor akuja kanita. Anambia unaitwa uko ndani. Mm-hmm. Kambia mtoto wako sawa? Mm. I hope wako sawa because I feel wako sawa. Mm. Will you just come? Ndio kashindwa niambia kwa sawa kwa nini? Mm. Anambia you just come. You just come. Ndio tukaingia ndani. Nikapata mtoto anaitana mam. Mm. Maji zimeacha kutoka. She's fine. Hakuna mali ya kona fracture. Mm. Sijui wanafanya nini huku kichwa ikarud. We, we are not even admitted for your information. Wow. Yes. Glory mm. to God. Nikashika mtoto wangu mkono. Nikashukuru Mungu. And then went back home the same same abilance ka tradition you ka drop you and abilance you ka drop you and abilance and that's how god worked mm. that time and then ni kaendelea na journey ya kutoa audio Whoa. yes and then after audio mm. god came through mm. that ndio ni launch sasa nikapata pesa ya shoot ni ya ku shoot video pesa za kufanya video yeah mm. how, how many songs do you have so far? i have six songs mm na zingine zina kama zingine zina kama yeah. reception imekuwa aje kwa media oh uh, me um about media mm. najua kuingia kwa media ni hard eh? yes. and i thank god for you mm. <laughs> i thank god for you uh, because i do fanya ni i thank god for you mm. and uh, one brother night to um, akonuru tv mm. actually i've never met that person mm. i don't know him I've never met him. Yes. But I remember one day he called mm. very early in the morning mm. around saa 10 usiku. 
Akanambia kuna watu wanapiga simu kutoka Bungoma mm. and they want your song. Mm. Akam that kamba one mm. and waweza. Yeah. It's like, "Oh, okay." Mm. Akanambia nitumie links zako zote, mm. na bla bla your names, yes. nini kamtumia. Mm. Nikamwambia umetoa namba yangu. Hapo akanambia I posted that song in a group. Mm. Nikisema nataka mwenye hiyo wimbo. Akatumiwa. Aka akatumia. Anaitwa Prince. Yes, yeah. somebody Prince. Nikamtumia. I don't know the other name. I've never met him. Nikamtumia details. That was my first time kujiona kwa TV. <laughs> And then you came through. <laughs> yeah, okay. you came through. Among your songs, do you have a favorite? Okay, um I love Neneva mm. and Waweza. Everything Neneva. <laughs> Neneva is a very powerful house mm. <laughs> Okay. Neneva Mwia Yesu neneva niwe mwia neneva Mwia Yesu neneva niwe mwia It's just a simple song. Dave, message me if you want to collab with me, please. <laughs> We are taking a short break. We are coming back ndio atuambie. <laughs> Nini next? We'll be right back guys. Asante sana mpenzi mtazamaji kwa kuendelea kutazama Music Stories. Wiki hii yaliyojiri, waimbaji waliweza kufanya kazi nzuri sana, wameweza kuachilia nyimbo mtumishi wa Mungu Mili F Odhiambo aliweza kufanya wimbo mzuri sana wa kufana unaoitwa Majibu yangu. Ukiangalia pale pale katika mitandao mtumishi wa Mungu Eric Smith baada ya kuwa amenyamaza kwa muda mrefu ameweza kuachilia wimbo mzuri Washi ambao unaitwa Chini ya Mamlaka na pia mtumishi wa Mungu Judy Masila aliweza kuachilia wimbo wa Kikuyu baada ya kufanya kolabo kubwa na Rose Mwanu aliweza kufanya wimbo mwingine pia wa Kikuyu unaitwa Ne Udhakareti hey. Inabidi nijifunze kikuyu mpenzi mtazamaji na waimbaji wameweza kufanya kazi nzuri sana. Na mtumishi wa Bwana ambaye anaitwa Victor Edi ameweza pia kufanya wimbo mpya wa Worship. Tazama katika YouTube zao na uweze kuangalia kazi nzuri ambayo inafanyika na katika mitandao pia mtumishi wa Mungu Pastor Baraka aliweza pia kuachilia kibao kipya. Yaani watumishi wa Mungu wameweza kuwa very busy. Mchungaji Pastor Barak ni mwimbaji na pia ni mchungaji na pia vile vile ni producer pale Rongai. Ikiwa wewe ni mwimbaji ungependa kuimba unaweza kumtembelea pale Rongai ama ukamtafuta kwa mitandao akaweze kukuelekeza. Mungu akubariki na akutende mema. Endelea kutazama music stories. Welcome back guys. Thank you for staying tuned and it's lovely. <laughs> is a wonderful testimony. Eh, hey, kumbe tukikuona hivi <laughs> unaweza ribasha cha kwa, kwa, kwa ambulance. Eh? Umesema sasa hii sofa uko na mziki ngapi? Sita. Sita. Mm-hmm. Albums uh, like uh, videos zote yeah. umefanya. Mm-hmm. Alafu safari ya mziki imekuwaje? Um safari ya mziki kwa ngiraisi. Uh-huh. It is never easy. Uh-huh because you don't know who you meet in the way mm. wengine watakupea courage mm. wengine wataku discourage mm-hmm. because i remember mm. wakati nilingia kwa mziki mm. then nika shoot video yes. i remember one of my friends aliniambia i love you when you sing in the altar mm. sasa vile umeingia kwa mziki hii utatoboa mm. aka ku discourage aka ni discourage mm. na nikakuwa niko na fear kidogo yes. kwani nimeingia wapi, wapi. na ni mwimbaji pia mm. And then uh, I love Pastor Jericho because mm. he kept on pushing me. My daughter you can do this. Yes. And um I thank God because having a cover of the servant of God yes. ni kitu muhimu sana. Because it has kept me. Yes. Imenifanya ni songe this far. Mm. And um keeping faith and having faith in God. Mm. Because I had believed God nifanye wimbo mm. the last year but one. Mm. But something happened. Yes kwanza nikasikia it's like oh god umeniacha kidogo mm-hmm. but um god for that battle yes and then last year bado nilikuwa i remember we had planned to we to kwa na project na wewe we to to but things bado happened god visited us <laughs> oh hallelujah <laughs> uh, we didn't manage 
And, we, prayed and, uh, we prayed for two things. We prayed for two things. And God and God immediately. <laughs> immediately. By and I thank God that that, that is a God who answers prayer. Mm. And is a faithful God. Mm. And having faith in God mm. is the best thing. Mm. Trust in God and trusting the process of God is the best thing. Because I love waiting yeah. upon God. No matter what comes away, hata kama nilikuwa nimepanga kufanya nini mm. and then and this key in the spirit is that is not what god wants yeah. it appos kwanza i'll not force not things <laughs> no i don't know how to force things but uh, this year we have something coming yeah. so Finally, i believe yeah, yes, 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 so we are doing very well. i believe god uh, <laughs> something is cooking somewhere something is cooking yeah uh, in the music in, is it industry or ministry? Mm-hmm. Do you have a mentor? Do you have somebody maybe you call on their outside being? Okay. Um, kuna watu wa tatu mm. napenda ku, kupigia simu sana. Mm. Uh, one, mtu mwenye alinipea courage sana, mm. Monica Muli, mm. encouraged me in this journey. Yes. So, most of the time I'll call her. Yes. Mbia, hapa na hapa na hapa. Na niambia my jikaze mm. hii ni safari tia bd mm. and i thank god for her yeah. and um, you been the best <laughs> you are not an artist out. but kama kuna mtu amenipea hope kwa muziki it's you magrid oh. it was me i had nilikuwa nimefika mahali nimesema acha tu niimbange kwa alta <laughs> niimbange tu kwa alta na nikae kwa alta the rest god that atachukulia atapea waimbaji wengine mm-hmm. but at least you've been there unani push hata hii project nataka kufanya it's because you are pushing me yeah it's because you are pushing me nilikuwa nimeingiwa na woga because yes. of the things i see happening to yeah. ministers and nashikwa na woga mm-hmm. and um, my sister judy i know she doesn't know mm-hmm. judy masila <laughs> judy masila mm-hmm. my sister i learned a lot from her yeah. her humility yeah na vile ana push mm. in the music hey, yeah jali alaleta kuleta so yeah, kuna vile ananipatia challenge mm. ajui yeah. na sijamwambia and uh, i love her ministry so much knows. so huwa na ninasoma kutoka kwake chini ya maji yeah. sivumbiangi uh, so i learn from her yes. the way she's pushing the ministry mm. and i thank god for her uh-huh. and then my husband ananiambia unangoja nini what are you waiting <laughs> And and what are you waiting? Toa ah. hii kitu bwana. Achilia. So naambia acha tungoje time ya God. <laughs> so I thank God for those four people. Wow. Margaret, being our manager. <laughs> being our manager. Thank God. Judy Masela, Monica Moli, my okay. hubby, I thank God for them. And you yeah. are a wonderful person. Mm-hmm. Now that you decided to put me on the spot. <laughs> if you people see me very strong this woman here is a very strong person in prayer when i can't pray she prays for me and she's one person we can talk for three hours to police na to find out na to solve and we have a testimony when i was expectant she visited me with a show pain and i remember she laid her hand on my guitar immediately god answered the prayer sure she had just gone through something for it was two months three months three months yeah. and imagine god had replaced immediately mm. so we have a testimony together that we have seen god do things mm. and i'm trusting god that he will continue using it for his glory <laughs> sure and we we will do a song together he is one person who <laughs> make me sing if you people want to hear me sing you will see me sing very soon mm-hmm. and uh, projects are coming yeah uh, have you ever found yourself in a situation where a pastor has called you and then they have one tether <laughs> <laughs> i know you didn't see this one <laughs> um not really mm. not in tether mm. but uh, one pastor called me mm. and um nika minister kwa ke i'm yeah. prepared oh it's my first time to mm. go and minister mpaka yeah. nimekopa pesa ya kunipeleka the place mm. And wakati nimefika town I'm calling hata mwenye kwa nimepoa simu nipige for direction muted <laughs> muted and um, kukakuwa hivyo 
<laughs> and after I think that was 2019, mm. 2020, 2021, mm. Nikisha. Mm. And I'll be guessing. Three years later. Oh, wow. I'll be guessing to apologize. Three mm. years later. <laughs> and that's why I tell you, I do fear <laughs> this ministry. Three years later, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm no comment. <laughs> so, do you have people you're mentoring? Yes, I have. Uh, I have a team I'm mentoring. Mm. Um, no, foundation is safari. Is safari. Is safari. Do you pass that? Kimambia. Oh, do more. Oh, when I get so expect anything. Yeah. <laughs> and Our um, men of God will love you and celebrate. Sure. But zile surprises muna to go girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And um, since then, by the way, I fear going and minister. Uh. But uh, I have a team that I'm mentoring mm -hmm. in Ruaka. Mm -hmm. I have my team. Yes. And I have my girls even mm -hmm. from Huruma yes. that are mentoring mm -hmm. this journey. Yes. And I thank God for them because I know they will go far. Yeah. I want them to be above. above. Mahali niko wapite, wakisonga, wakienda mm -hmm. zaidi. Mm -hmm. And that's my joy. Amen. Yeah. Okay, there is someone, maybe they have started the journey. No, I feel like I want to give up. Mm -hmm. you God has helped you. Please talk to someone. Maybe there is a woman... <laughs> now not music related mm -hmm. they are just tired of life you know my shake on a panda encourage someone um killing that and down beer to a yacht and any schizer um it comes a time you lose hope in this life yes. and what i can tell you is that god does never come late mm -hmm. he comes at the right time mm -hmm. And when his time comes, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so we should not give up in this life. Tuzidi kungangana, tuzidi kuamini Yesu, and don't forget to pray. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to commit yourself mm -hmm. in prayer. Mm -hmm. Always be a prayerful person, because you wezi kuwa mtu wa kupiga magoti na mungu wa kuwacha hivo. No matter how, mm -hmm. no matter what is happening in this life, mm -hmm. kwa sababu maisha iko na panda shuka, mm -hmm. Maisha ndiyo kama wakati ukila mtu wanasema maisha ni ngumu. Mm. And I thank God because mungu wa changi wale wake. Mm. Lazima God atasimama kwa mwanya. If only you believe and mm. you keep your faith mm. in God. Mm. So, unai nisikiza, weka imani yako na matumaini yako kwa mungu. Mm. Because trust in the process of God, mm. it is never in vain. Mm. When the right time comes, you will see the fruits. Amen. So, keep on persisting. Keep on waiting patiently Amen. and pray. Amen. <laughs> 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 YouTube, Veronica Pius, yeah. Instagram, Pendovesh, mm. uh, Facebook, Nikona page, Najita Veronica Pius Pia. Mm. Utanipata uko TikTok, Veronica Pius. Yes. Okay. Um, first, I'll say hi to my husband. Mm. I know you will watch this. And um, God, I could bless Sana because of being there for us, being there for me as a minister. Kupata mtu wanasimama na yoko uduma siyo raisi. God bless you so much. Mm. I say hi to my mom, my dad, Wakiwa Ivanga, mm. and uh, my mom in love, the best mother I have, mm. a prayerful woman, mm -hmm. God bless her, kwa kunipenda. My brother in law, Benson, Judy, Sharon, Wambua, God bless her. My sister Alice and Peter, our penda. Yes. Mm -hmm. That has been Veronica Pius. I'm a Mrs. Edward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She has a story and I have. She will come back again when she has new music because we are planning to do a whole album because she does an album mm -hmm. and it's been nice having you. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for coming. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being a blessing to me and my plan. <laughs> thank thank you. you so much for being a blessing. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for always being here. Mm -hmm. There is one guy, he's called William. He always comments on our YouTube. He always watches him. God I will bless Sana, Nani Mwimbaji. I will one day bring him. Yeah. He sings. He had us a, a book. He got a hundred songs. I don't know how many he has recorded so far. So God I will bless Sana. God I will bless. Thank you for being a blessing and continue being a blessing to someone. If you're there and you feel like you want to give up, don't give up. 
Mm-hmm. Just think about the people we've read in the Bible. There was Joseph, there was Moses, there was no one ali andiko kwa Bible kwa sababu ya kukua tu ametulia. They were written because they went through something. They True. went through a journey. So whatever you're going through today, Mungu atatumia kesho kujitukuza. Mm-hmm. You will testify, you will glorify, and you will tell people how good, how great this God is because he has brought you this far. And he cannot bring you this far to kill you or finish you. Sure. He has a great plan for you. God bless you. And you will see you again. Ciao.